Welcome back to Digital Reviews. Today I'm going to be looking at a new microphone. This one is from a company called Tona, I believe you pronounce it, or Tona. Uh, this is the TC30. Thank you to them for sending this out. This is a TC30 USB condenser microphone, and I've got the RGB version, so we'll get it unboxed, have a look at it, and then we'll plug it in and we'll do some sound testing uh, to see how it performs, and then I'll let you know my uh, final thoughts at the end. So this is the microphone itself, as I said, TC30 from Tona. Um, comes with a two year warranty. Um, so let's have a quick look over the box and see what uh, features it has. Uh, so it's cardioid pattern and it's plug and play and clear sound. And that's about all there is to tell you, to be honest with you. Uh, sample rate 48 kilohertz, bit rate of 16 bit and a frequency response of 50 hertz to 20 K hertz. And a 70 uh, sensitivity of minus 32 decibels plus or minus 3 decibels, and an impedance of 2.2 kilo ohms. So, first of all, it comes with a standard uh, instruction manual. Um, so, you got basically tell you everything you need to know about that and how to set it up and things like that. Um, so, put that to one side and then we'll look at the microphone itself. So, in the box, we get the microphone itself. Um, feels fairly good quality. Um, comes with a shock mount as well um, to stop any unwanted noises. Um, if you hit the desk or anything like that, and it also comes with a built-in stand as well, uh, like a tripod stand. Uh, so it stands quite nicely there. And then we also have uh, a pop filter which can slide into the top there um, to help out with your sound quality there. And we also get a USB-C to USB-A cable as well. Right, so now we've got the uh, microphone plugged in, we can actually see the RGB effects that are on this. As you can see, it shines through the end here and also shines through the sides here of the microphone. Um, now, unfortunately, there is no way of actually changing the colours on this, so it is literally just RGB cycle through all the different colours. Um, so there's no effects or anything you can do on this. It is literally just going through all the different colours from start to finish and background again, um, which is a bit of a shame, um, but other than that, it looks quite good. Um, I'll just give you a quick look at the RGB effects. So now that we've taken a look at that, we'll do some testing and see what it sounds like and uh, I'll test it against the uh, Blue Yeti and see what the sound quality is like and then we'll uh, have a talk about my final thoughts of this at the end. This is a test of the Tona TC30 RGB microphone. This is a test of the TC30 microphone. This is a test of the Blue Yeti microphone. This is a test of the Blue Yeti microphone. Right, so there we have the Tona TC30 RGB microphone from Tona. Uh, again, massive thank you for them sending this out for me uh, to review. Uh, now let's talk about uh, the quality of it. Uh, in terms of the build quality, it's absolutely fantastic. It feels really solid and the mount's really good too. Um, can't fault that at all. One thing I didn't mention in the unboxing is you can unscrew this um, stand at the bottom here. And you have got a mount there, so you could probably attach this to a boom arm as well if you wanted to. Uh, it looks like a standard thread on there, so you should be able to attach that there. But the stand that comes with it is actually really good. Um, be ideal for most people that are using this microphone. Um, I can't see having many issues with this at all, so you can just stand it on your desk. Um, so the quality of it is really good. It's all made out of uh, probably steel, I would have thought, maybe aluminium, uh, the bottom bit anyway. And the rest is all sort of a plastic construction. Um, but the microphone itself seems really good quality. Um, other than that, the RGB on it is absolutely fantastic, it looks really good. Um, the only thing I'd say is it would be nice if there were some buttons on it as, uh, to control the RGB effects and have different effects on it. There isn't anything like that. And also there is no controls for muting the microphone or for changing the settings of it, sort of the, the cardioid pattern or anything like that, or turning it up or turning the gain up or anything like that. It is just set as it is. Um, obviously you've got limited functionality in Windows uh, for changing this or Mac if you're using that. It does work with Mac as well. Um, so other than that, the uh, like I say, the, the, the quality of it is it's absolutely brilliant and the shot mount's really good as well, um, holds it in there nicely. And obviously you get the pop filter with it as well, which is what it was tested with. Uh, now the main thing, the uh, sound quality of it is, is absolutely brilliant, as I assume you'll agree with me from listening to the tests. Um, between that and the Yeti, um, now bear in mind a Yeti is like a £100 microphone. Um, where the selling point for this is it is only about £35 in the UK and um, it's probably about $35 in the US as well so it is a really good price um, so in terms of the price difference it's quite big um, and like I say the sound quality is actually brilliant on it um, you've probably noticed from the sound test that I did um, it does pick up more background noise than what the Yeti does but that will probably be down to the fact that on the Yeti you can actually change the gain and sort of the pattern of it and change the volume of it as well so you can sort of adjust it to how you want it to basically drown out more of the background sound 
Uh, as with the Yeti, you, could, you couldn't hear anything in the background, whereas this you could hear a faint sort of hissing in the background um, from background noise. Um, but other than that, it sounds really good. And like I say, for the price, it's, uh, it's fantastic. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you are looking at buying a microphone and don't want to spend a lot of money, then definitely recommend this one. Um, and if you were looking at this one anyway, um, it was on your sort of radar of what you wanted to look at, um, then I can definitely recommend it. Um, so if you're thinking of getting this and you don't want to spend a lot of money, then just go pick it up. It is really good. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a like. Any comments in the comment section below. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. And obviously don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.